you guys, I'm going to show you really quickly how to do uh, use a couple tools, the mirror tool, uh, also um, do some sketching, bring in a photo, and so forth. So here we go. Start with part. And this assignment is called uh, the face vase. And before you can get too deep in this, you're going to need to download this image here. So if I go ahead and cl right click on it, I can go save image as. And you'll want to save it uh, into your engineering folder. So let's just say here, do, 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 do. do I have an engineering folder? Nope, I'll create one. And we'll put our face face in here. Then I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to go start new sketch. I'm going to put a sketch on the XY plane. And I'm going to bring in an image. Okay. And I should have that image I just found. Okay. Face face. And I'm going to put it in. And I can press escape. Should be in. Now, I can click on this, and I could make it bigger if I wanted to. Not that important, but you can make it to a kind of size that makes sense to you. Okay? And so when you look at this image, some of us see two faces or a vase. Regardless, this is what we're going to use to help build um, our shape today. So I'm going to start with a couple of things. I'm going to start with a line tool. I'm going to get some basic uh, straight lines drawn that I know I'm going to need. I'm going to go ahead and get, you know, click in this corner. I get the green dot there. I'm going to find the midpoint, and again, it should be a green dot, and I should get a little uh, indicator constraint there saying, hey, we're going to the midpoint here. Okay. I'm going to click again, and it comes straight down, making sure that I'm getting the vertical line. There's a vertical line right there. And again, the midpoint on the bottom. I'm and I will go to about right here. That's a little bit of a guess. So now I've drawn three lines here. I'm also going to draw a line. I can see that I'm going to need a straight line about right there. Okay, and I can press escape to get out of that. So I've drawn another line. You can kind of hover over. They should all be purple right now. Okay, and then I'm going to use some uh, other drawing tools. Now this doesn't have to be perfect as we trace this, but it could be nice. I'm using the art tool first. And making sure I get this. very important you guys get the ends of your lines. If you don't, you'll have problems later. You'll be like, hey, why won't it, why won't it extrude? Why won't it uh, rotate? Why won't it do the, the things I want to do? And if it's not a closed shape, it won't do it. So I'm going to click right here, make sure I get the end point. I'm going to click on the other end point, and then I'm just going to stretch it out to be the arc tool to finish that piece right there. But after this, arcs and straight lines won't work, so there's so many you know, interesting geometry here. So I'm going to use what's called the spline tool. I'm going to use the spline interpolation. Okay. I'm going to click on the end point here because I want to get the end of that line. And then, especially with spline, the way it works is the more times you click, the more accurate it will be. And I can go back and fix things if they're not perfect later. But I want to begin to trace this. You can push down on my cursor right, on the, on the scroll wheel to make it move. And I'm not loving the way that's coming out, but again, I'll come back and fix it later. Really weird. I might just hit check mark here and just kind of fix some things now. Um, for example, I can fix, I don't love this, so I can click on where I want those lines to be. I can move. Again, this isn't even perfect, but you're kind of like, you can move it around and get what I like. I don't love this one either. Better to me. Okay, chin. Um, let's come back in here. I'm going to do a straight line this time to kind of get the nose started. Maybe that's the piece of the nose I want there. Oh, you know what? I don't like that, so I'm going to delete it. I'll go back to my uh, spline tool, but I'm going to click right here in this corner. There we go. That feels better to me. Again, the more you put in here, the more clicks you make, the more accurate it will be. But then I want to get that end point there. 
Did it work? Okay. Can't move things if I want to. We'll go spline two again. I remember I like the interpolation best. Works better. Cortex one will work, but I don't like it as much. I think it's harder to use. Okay, and check mark. And again, I can pick, drag these little anchor points. It's much like any other drawing software. You can drag little anchor points, kind of get the shape that you So, now I've got that shape, half of the vase done, and I've made sure that everything connects, that everything is going to endpoint, so that if I like zoomed in real close, I can see, look, that those two lines connect there. That's really important. And if you need to double check your work, you can always do that. But I'm gonna go finish sketch. We'll go here, and now I have the shape. Now, a couple things. I wanna get rid of the base. I don't wanna delete it of the picture, but I don't wanna look at it either. So I'm gonna go to the plus sign over by sketch, and I'll go image. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna uncheck the visibility. It just gets rid of it for now. On. I can always bring it back if I wanted to. Right click again, visibility, there it is. But I don't want to look at it anymore, so I'm going to uncheck that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the revolve tool. We haven't used this one yet, so we've used extrude, but we haven't used the revolve. Okay, by default, it's going to select this piece because I've closed that. It's the only closed part, it's the only part that can revolve. If it didn't, uh, I would click on profile and reselect something, but it did. So I'm going to click on select axis, and I'm going to select on the middle right here. Okay, and if I go front view, you can now see the two faces and the vase. If I go back to the home right here, you can see it kind of looks like a vase. You can play with this more if you guys want to. You don't need to. For example, I could say that I wanted to shell it. Let's see here. Shell it here. You know, just playing with it. No, I'm making an actual vase. Play with the materials. A, some, some sort of uh, see-through. What you guys will do is you will use the snipping tool to take a image of, in this view, the front view of your piece. Remember to make sure you get the your name up in the corner. If you forget how to do snipping view, you just go down here to this little white box and you type in snip. There it is. And then you go new. Then you just drag a box over, making sure that you're including your image and your name. And then you can save this, save this to your folder right here. You just use this little, this is this used to be called a floppy disk. You guys probably don't know that. But save here and save that to your folder, and then you can drop that into Canvas to submit. There you go. Enjoy it.